Wait, is, is Alfie on the live for it? If you are, message me. Who's Alfie? Bounce top I want him to send me that clip. Oh my god. I mean, the view. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shot. Oh yeah. my god. Oh, I can... Look at the size of that guy. That's actually a Tallest building in the world. What the like, bird? Yeah, and just look at like all the buildings around it as well. Like all of these apartments, like they're all like centered around facing the bird. Yeah. But this city's like it's like city of the future. Now, man. what I noticed is that there's hella construction going on everywhere. Bro, as well. I'm, I'm literally like, buying. Everywhere. I'm literally buying three off-plan properties right now. Yeah, they're all building up, and they you put money in, and they're worth like double by the time they're out. Yeah, there's, they get building everywhere, and they're expanding out. This now, is like that, I see even Donald Trump's fucking Damascus. Donald Trump. Show, yeah, Damascus. Yeah. The Max actually dead build quality. Oh, so yeah, know. yeah, they, they, they the Max are deadest one, bro. It's everywhere, but it's the deadest one. Amar's good. That's owned by the state. Yeah, yeah, I know. Man. But that, what, that, that Max that, not good. Oh, yeah, Amar's like it, Amar built this mall. Amar's just a construction company, isn't it? They just build shit. Would you like water? I'd love a water. Yeah, a large bottle of still water, please, mate. Oh. Put the mics on. If we're on 43. Yeah, that's my car. Yeah. That's my car. <laughs> Shut up, Ollie Key, bro. <laughs> Did you see that? Thanks to HS Trading Group, I made six figures this year, moved to Dubai, and now take E Solly on regular dates to Hacker. <laughs> Why you still got that stinky shirt on? I actually, I think I lost my other one, you know. I don't know where it is. Uh, my the Black Knight. That's yours, then. Send my dad. Why don't you send yours to yours, mate? Huh? Why don't you send your goals to your dad? <laughs> it'll leave me on. It'll leave me on red. <laughs> Victor Abuja. <laughs> <Victor Abu. laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I'm gonna check that coin. Oh, it's still chilling around 15 M's, bruv. Fuck, man, I don't know what to do. So, only thing with these little meme coins, you gotta proper watch them, because, like, right. If that starts breaking down, yeah, I'm done out. I'm done out. Earlier on today, it was up at maybe 40. Maybe a bit more than 40. Oh, I'm gonna get a wine to warm me up. I'm you feeling cold. You can't get alcohol in this. this uh, you can't do alcohol. I don't think so, actually. I think they only do virgin stuff in here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, then. <laughs> you got any virgin, um, virgin alcohol? Or have you got actual alcohol? Have you got no alcohol? Can we get a shisha, bro? You look around when I said virgin. <laughs> hey, have we got any virgins? <laughs> you got... <laughs> uh, uh, if only the stream see that. Pretty yeah, can't even film them, bro. Um, could I get... What would you recommend here, bro? What food? Yeah. Um, what's that red drink that that girl's got? I know it's nice, the red one. Yeah, can we have two of them, please? That one is a watermelon one. That red one. Bla I'll have a black. I'll have a blackberry mojito, please. I love. 
I love a watermelon. So I used to use FXS, yeah, and then I realised and I moved over. Watermelon. Sorry? Watermelon. David Jordan. Yeah, and also a bottle of still water. Oh, and a, oh yeah, a bottle of still water, please. Oh, I'm just going for another piss. All right, mate. Bring it in with you, bro. I want to hear that on the stream. It's content. We just lag out and bug the stream out. <laughs> oh, my groin is so sore. Bruh. Hey, get a shisha. That's calm. Can we get a shisha? What is it, mate? Too strong. Yeah, that's calm. Here, I'm saying that's calm. Why are you bugging about that? No, 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 no. Oh, don't promote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brother. That's it. Um, one blackberry mojito, one watermelon mojito. Yeah, that's it for now. We'll get food in a little bit. Thanks a lot. We'll have a lemon mint shisha. Yeah, no problem. We'll come to you. Thanks a lot, mate. KSI hairline. <laughs> bro, all you man violating, like, I'll, go, I'll go get it done tomorrow, bro. That side's calm. I think you've got to let it. Do you know when you're going to have loads of scars for a sec? I think what you've got to do is when there's no going back, that's what you do. Yeah, it's just that side. What happened to Clark's? Like, he's was all right now. And how long did he look dead for? I'll do it now then. Yeah, do it. That side's right on. That's all I'm saying. No, I want it proper down, bro. I want to make my forehead normal size. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to go like to the 1010. <laughs> Man's going to be an official light, straight air. Official light, yeah. I'm properly joining the team. That hairline's quite much, bro. <laughs> Which shisha you want? Uh, like I'll have a lemon mint, a, a lemon mint shisha, please. No problem, but uh, you can choose shisha. Which one? This one? Just the normal one, please. This one is our classic one. It's yeah, yeah. Smoke. Classic, that's fine. Yeah, fine. thanks. Lemon and mint. Lemon mint, please, yeah. Uh, when are you coming to the USA? Well, my fight's in the USA, so I might be heading there kind of soon. Like two months. Would you convert 100%? How much would 300 pound make on your trade take, Jess? It depends how much you risk in it, but like, you can make, I, I, honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even suggest you get involved with that amount. I'd suggest you get involved with more, but if you're getting involved with that, yeah, and you can make 20 quid a day, that's fucking sick. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's sick. But what happens is when you're coming in with 300 pound, you end up over leveraging, over risking. You can make money because our group trades bang in it, but it's not what I suggest. I suggest you come in with more. But there are people with 300 pound in the group that make fucking 50, 60, 70 pound a day in it because they're just using big, they're over leveraging. Simple as that. But because the trades are so good, we've only had three losing days in 2024, they still make peas. And then they deposit more and deposit more and grow it. So yeah, you can. What crypto do you hold in? Um, I've got Solana, I've got Jup Jupiter, I've got, I'm not gonna tell you the meme coins because I don't wanna even be associated to that because it'll ruin my fucking Forex reputation. Um, I've got a couple meme coins that I think are gonna pop, but I'm not talking about them. Um, I've got Bitcoin, I've got Ethereum. What's the lowest I can put in? 300 quid. Double W scammer salesman. Honestly, yeah, on a genuine one, no jokes aside, put a one in the chat if you think it's legit. Put a two in the chat if you genuinely think that I'm out here just scamming people. And if you're putting a two, deep in your head, yeah, that I've got 2,000 people in my, not my free group, in my paid group, 
So 2,000 people pay me £100 a month to be inside the group. Why would they pay a subscription if they were losing bread? That's what you got to consider. All right, you chat are just cunts, mate, honestly. I don't even know why I'm streaming, bruv. <laughs> clippers? What are they? I don't even have clippers, bro. Like people that clip your content. Oh, what are they? Is that viral yeah, vids? This was still three minutes ago, mate. Like, it's all yeah, yeah. <laughs> the only thing hey, put a two in the chat if you're gay. Put a one in the chat if you're straight. Yeah, all of you fucking fags. Yeah, so yeah, now see one exactly. Cause we we legit at it. I right, put put honestly put a yes in the chat if you're enjoying the kick streams. If you if you want to see me streaming a little bit more in it. How long we been live for total? Um, rough, roughly like close to four hours, if not like three and a half, something like that. You man are enjoying the streams. Come on, come on. Boys, guess guess in the chat, yeah. WHS making people do. Guess guess in the chat right now, yeah. What I'm getting paid an hour to do this stream. Guess in the chat. I ain't gonna say in it, but just guess. In dollars. Guess what? Guess guess. 150 pound, bro. <laughs> bro, come on. Come on, bro. 500, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. Mm, zero. All right, pop some questions, boys. I'm bored. Waiting for the shisha. Pop some fucking questions, man. I be for streams. Yeah, I be for streams are gonna come. Where's Shaggy? <laughs> Shaggy's in fucking Marbella, mate. Oh no, do you know what? With 300 pound, yeah, do you know what I, I completely forgot about, yeah? It's funded accounts. In trading, yeah, you can get funded accounts, which means that you don't act, like, you can pass a test and then they'll give you like 50K or 100K in an account to trade with. And if you reach certain um, parameters, you get 80% of the money you make with it. So what a lot of people do is they start with 300 pound, they make a few hundred pound, they learn the group, they know it's legit. And then they apply for one of these tests, they pass the test, they get like 50k or 100k to trade with, and then that, that's how they make a lot of money. I think a few people were on one of them today. Um, like a lot of people, like for example, this guy right here, yeah, Mustafa. You can see he's got 25 bags in his account, and that's not real, that's fucking, that's fucking, um, that's our funded account. So that's what you can do, bruv. HS Diddy Toki, right. Pretty normal. Fucking hell, Ed's doing a number two, innit? Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. DMs, bruv. DM the people. DM the people and ask them. All of these DMs, I'm not asking man to DM me, bruv. This geezer, four days in a row, he's made over a K. These are just man DMing me, bruv, because they want to. They ain't getting paid. They're just fucking hitting me up right now. DM all of them. And if you want to start, click the link in my Insta bio. Get involved. Start making money from your phone. Don't be a slave. The worst thing is being a fucking brokey nowadays. You can't fucking fly around. You can't do anything, mate. He's a terrorist, bro. You guys are racist, man. Fucking hell. Pound shop, Andrew Tate. Bro, Andrew Tate is 15, 16, 17 years older than me. For my age, I'm doing very well. So don't compare me to someone. We're on different chapters of our story. Do you know what I'm saying? Deep that, boys, and put respect in the chat, bruv, okay? There's not many 22-year-olds doing what I'm doing in it. End of. End of, boys. 
Yeah, but you used him as an inspiration, bro. Ego's mad, not even, I'm a humble geezer, I just talk facts. I actually just talk facts. I know I'm not anywhere near where he is, but I'm also a lot younger. And I'm confident I can be the best version of myself as I keep going. Simple as that. Run through what a funded account is. All you've got to do, all you've got to do is pass a test. Um, so to pass, basically they give you a demo account, a fake account. They want you to pass a test. The way you can pass the test is by following the trades that are in my group, okay? Because they're winning all the time. Like I've literally shown you fucking proof that they're winning. If you want to hate and call it a scam, just fuck off in it. Like I can't be asked to address it. But you pass the test and then you get 50K, 100K, 200K. You get a massive amount. And then you can keep like 80% of the profit. So people are making like five bags in a day because they got a massive account. It's, it's, it's sick. There was a thing though where a lot of funded account places weren't paying you out. But if you use like FTMO, if you use the big ones, they'll pay you out. There was a lot of scam ones though that would, they wouldn't pay you out ever. Would you stream with Neon again? Yeah. Obviously, obviously I would, innit? I just didn't rate the like, saying I ran off from the bill, innit? It was a bit weird. <clears throat> is it really that hot? Yeah, it is hot here. It's bare hot here. I'm, I'm feeling cold. Cold? I've been sweating. Well, you're actually a bit chilly out here. Oh. What if you lose the money in the funded account? Then you just lose it, bruv, because it's not real money. It's a demo account that they give you, but they'll pay you out if you profit on it. So, you be, what if you, if, you lose the, if you lose money on the funded account, you lose, yeah? You just lose whatever, it, it costs money to do the test. Obviously, that's how the company makes money. So you have to pay like 500 quid to do a test for a 50K account. If you pass it, then you get the 50K account. Simple as that. Which party would you vote for? Conservative, but they're all dossers. They're all dossers. Financial advisor from a Kickstream LMAO. Blood thinks he's an investment advisor. Well, number one, I'm not a Kickstream. And number two, I have a legitimate investing team and know a lot more about investing than you do. <clears throat> Talk to me when you got an M on your wrist, brokey. What company do you suggest for Dubai visas? I don't even know. Oh, yeah. You can take a video? Yeah. Let's see it. Oh. What? What do you mean? Who? I'm not chatting about you, mate. Nah, I ain't even planning about that, mate. Nah, trust me, I promise you, I don't give a fucking shit. <laughs> trust me, bro. <laughs> yeah, fucking real bothered, mate. Real fucking bothered. <laughs> <clears throat> Dude, this shisha's nice, bro. You like it. Hey Chess, what would you say is a good way to save dough? Uh, it's more time just spending, like silly spending hey, habits. Know, you know you save the most dough, like David, yeah, he works a nine to five. Tell him. Like, what, what I worked for a, as a manager in a restaurant for like a year and a half. Like, I stayed at home, I don't pay rent, I don't buy food, and I saved a lot of money just from. 95% of it was saved. 95% of my wage was saved. 95% of your wage is saved, exactly, yeah. but the, the problem is, when people are working a nine to five job with no dough, like them, you're making not a lot of money in it, realistically. How long did you work for? Uh, a year and a half. And you have about 40 something saved. Which, oh, you, yeah, now, which you could now invest into my other businesses. My parents bought my food. I don't pay rent. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If I had to buy my own shit, yeah, but you could do a lot with that. Yeah, definitely. Bro, have you got 40 yeah, quid now? Like with 40 quid, you can fucking put. A, you can you can diversify. 
Exactly. That's the only. That's when a nine to five actually makes sense. If you're if you're working and saving in them hours, because otherwise, if you just blow it, what's the point of doing them hours? No point. But I don't know. I feel as if sometimes you need to experience a nine to five to experience how shit it is. I worked in a nine to five. I worked in a. What do you think the shittest one was, Lambourne? Yeah. So we worked for Ed's dad's um, carpeting company, Lambourne Carpets. Yeah, and for two days we got paid what like. Seventy a day. Bill fifty right? each. Nah, Seventy a day. Chopped. We got chopped. Did we get chopped? Nah, it was eight a day, but you did fuck all. This guy went for a shit for an hour and a half. Do <laughs> 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 hey, nah. you know what, bro? I wasn't even taking the piss. I genuinely. You was, no, no, bro. No, no, bro, bro. You was. Right, what do you want me to get out? Do you want me to get out? You didn't deserve a penny, mate. Ass looking like an Indian river, bro. Do you remember? He woke up and he goes, "Oh my stomach. What was it?" What was the reason you weren't trying to get it? Oh, no, do you know what I remember, yeah? So after the first day, it was an absolute slog fest, yeah? And uh, it was like 6 a.m. We had to get up or 5 a.m. to get into London to graph for the next day, yeah? And I was like, because it was his dad's company as well, but like, I, I was like, look, bro, I'm, I ain't doing it like my heart hurts. <laughs> yeah, like, and I actually did, bro, but I had fucking no, chest God, pain, yeah? Heart. And I'll never forget this because it was the <laughs> cuntiest thing he said, yeah? He come in and he went, he went and said it like such a bitch, bro. He went, well, some of us have got fucking work to do and walked out and slammed the door. <laughs> and, then, and then he was like, got up and went to work. Yeah, yeah, I had to get up because he like made me feel so bad about it. What? Yeah. I'll never forget it, bro. The way he came into the room and just said that as jokes. It's true, though. You can't, you can't say you're going to do work and slack because you're having a little bit of art pultations, mate. Work for someone that's not Ed's dad, so you can't slack. I did. I worked in... Um, what was it called? Merchant. Merchant. I worked in Decathlon. Like, just stacking shelves and doing shit like that. Pa getting paid £7.40 an hour. I've done all that brokey shit. Oh, fucking hell. Just hit me tooth. Bring that a little closer over here. Yeah, I've done all that shit, and that's why, like... Like, I remember, bro, back in the days, like, if you actually look at... A little bit closer than that, bro. If, if, bro, this has come out of the thing. Excuse me, sir. Can you... Would you have to fix this, please? Thanks a lot. Um, hey, David, move it closer. Would you be able to move it a bit closer as well, mate? Thank you. Um, Love. <laughs> Best way to say P is sit on your ass and crank 90s. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but nah, do you know what? It made me like, it made me appreciate money more because I remember if you look at old videos of me and Ed, yeah, when we used to smoke all the time, we'd never pick up more than a Benner's. It was always a £10 bag every time. Who picks up £10 bags? Nitties. <laughs> like homeless, <laughs> homeless people, bruv. And I remember one time, yeah, we was in your room and we couldn't get a fiver each to pattern a Benner's. I'll, I'll, I cannot forget that. And I remember we called one of our mates and he sent us £10. That was a low point. Like, we didn't have a t I'll never forget that. So, like, when everyone says, like, all right, my mum didn't really have peas like that. Your dad's got a bit of peas, but he didn't give it to him. Like... I didn't get given peas like Because like I that. see vids of us, everyone's like, oh, look, these rich kids training in, in his dad's garage. Like, all right, his dad's got fucking peas, but he didn't give him peas. He gave him 20, 30 pound a week. Yeah, but you got to appreciate Which back then, that. I remember, that was bears. Yeah, that was... I, I, I used to think, fucking... I used to think, bruv, this cunt is so lucky. That was back that. when I was like 15. Man. Yeah, he was getting 25. That was a lot for us. So I know, I know we're not from fucking Lewisham, yeah, and we didn't have to stab people to make it out, but we weren't. How <laughs> can you don't stab people to make it out? Yeah, no, because like, everyone's what a good like, way of making it out. No, 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 no. No, no yeah, yeah. Everyone, story, everyone, want, everyone wants the fucking the, the gangster man. lifestyle and making it out. That's the only thing that's respected. Just respect people that weren't given handouts and still done it. Do you know what I'm saying? Respect that. Don't respect, but put respect on, ah, oh, this guy had to sell this to get out and now he's like legit and blah, blah, blah. Fuck that. <sighs> People just love to hate, makes them feel better about their life. Yeah, 100%. It's much easier to hate than to like. Have you ever dropped a hate comment on anything? Uh. Yeah, on swarms when you banged him, <laughs> and, and he posted and he deleted the comment. Oh, yeah. I commented a day late because I didn't even know he posted. I commented. That's valid. I commented mad hate. I commented a bare paragraph like, "Yeah, you fucking dickhead!" Like, 
<laughs> and then he deleted the comment. Yeah, that's the only time I commented, hey. I don't that, that finished him, that knockout. I'm not going to lie. That just ended his career. Oh, you saw his boxing promotion. <laughs> but no. man tried to do a boxing promotion at the same time as me I had 3k on bro. How can you how can you want to start a boxing promotion after getting fucked like that? How old were you when you and Ed worked with his dad? 15? 16. 16, 15. Silver Spoon HS dad was a professional rugby legend. Alright. Man didn't even give him a penny. But how many times have I seen my dad? I've seen my dad less than this hand. I've probably seen him four, three, three or four times. One of them was with him for a YouTube video. I've literally seen my that dad three times. That video was so sick. Went on holiday with him to Rome, saw him for the first time ever with my mum, and saw him with Ed for a YouTube video. That's it. I, I was quite surprised he did that. For a YouTube video? Yeah. So am I. But, but you know, I've got a half-brother here yeah, called Zach. Zach Abugu, yeah, he's wham. And... Uh, but he's, he's cock blocking us seeing each other a bit. Why? You don't want you to be a bad influence on him? Not even a bad influence. I just said to him, because he wants to be a doctor and shit. I just said to him, look, like. That's what I mean, a bad influence and making it out. Bro, he wants to be a doctor, mate. I said, bro, why the fuck do you want to be a doctor, mate? You need to go to school for seven years to make fucking 40 bags a year. Four, and then seven you. Seven years, 14 years. 14 years school. Eight, eight years in uni, six years junior doctor. Exactly. Well, I, don't even, I don't even think. And then at the, at the top of the career, years. you're going to. At the top, if, if he become the top plastic surgeon. Bro, no, the top, top, top plastic surgeon probably in the UK probably makes like 500 bags a year. And that's does he like, live, he's like. Does 50. he live with your dad? Private, top, like celebrity geezer, like, all right, bro, come work for me and make fucking 50 bags a month for 18. Like. Hey, does your dad live with his kid? My dad live off his kid. My dad's no, got his live own with his kid. Oh, yeah. He's got two kids, I think. Three, two, sis. I got steps. Clearly, you weren't the favourite, mate. <laughs> mm, no, I was just the first, innit? Like, yeah. Not at all. It's what it is, bro. I like, do you know what? It's made you who you are. A lot are, of people yeah. ask me, like, does it get me down? Honestly, I never even think about it. Not even for like 1% of my day. I don't even know any different. Nah. I'm kind of glad. Because, do you know what? I'd, I wouldn't have been able to be like, like, my mum was strict, but because it was like a mum, not a dad, like, I kind of, do you know, when we started smoking and that, and then we eventually was able to like smoke in my house and bring girls around my house and like all that. I kind of like edged my way into doing what I wanted to do as I got a bit older. With your dad, it might not have been With my like dad, that. it might have been. Well, he's, a, he's a big guy as well, isn't it? It's like, bro, yeah, yeah you ain't fucking doing that. You're right, a fuck you, you're right, bomb. <laughs> Jalof slap. See ya. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, did you see that, um, that geezer on... Uh, the geezer on Fresh and Fit, you know, Fresh, the black one. Uh, Mohammed Hijab, that guy, the Muslim guy, or what? Who? The guy that debated them, or what? No, no, not even that. The one with saying, a big head. No, no, Fresh, the black geezer, yeah, yeah out of Fresh and Fit. Um, so there was a, a thing that got leaked earlier, yeah, and I see it on Twitter. Imagine this, so he got this girl Preggers, yeah, and then the girl recorded the phone conversation, and he's like, yeah, like, just take a pill, get rid of it. Do you know that's quite bad, though? I, I, like, I'm not going to say what I think about whatever, yeah, but the it's quite bad because they have like the red pill podcast and like they talk about like abortion's bad and do you know what i mean like be a proper man take care of you so he's getting a bit violated on the net but at the same time yeah imagine so this sneaky little bitch filmed him filmed him on the phone and was saying ah oh, like what you don't want this baby he's like no look just take a pill i really don't want babies right now blah 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 and she's like oh well, like what are you gonna do to me if i keep it like she was trying to bait him into saying something like oh like trying mad. to get something do you know what i mean she, she, she was trying to get a case yeah and i don't i don't like that's fucking but weird shit. Fresh, so big up to fresh for that fresh debated, <laughs> big up to fresh for what job, just big yeah. big up to fresh like so some show some support to fresh because like i don't like these bitches trying to fucking make shit up on and record it on the phone like it's weird behavior like, she's trying to bait him into saying something while recording a phone call. So why are you recording a phone call? It's your private business, whether he aborts a kid. Why are you putting that on the internet? Yeah, but that's, he's got that's, clout that's girls, mate. Clout that's girls, like, you should... But I'm saying, like, I support Fresh in that stance. Like, not necessarily wanting an abortion, but I don't like, I don't like that type of behaviour. She's clout chasing, it's weird. Simple as that, it's weird. Fresh is cool, Myron's gay. Yeah, Myron's a total fucking melt. <laughs> Honestly. I'd love to box his head in, bro. It's one of them geezers. There's two geezers in America that I just love to, like, actually weigh them in. Because they're little pussies, bro. 
it's running their mouth on the net like they're bad men. Everyone who calls him out, everyone who calls him out, he's like, all right, let's have a boxing fight. I called him out for fucking months. I was violating him while I was in his home hometown. When he got spoke about me on the podcast, on the live chat, oh, why don't you fight HH? He's like, I'm not going to answer that. Fresh read it out, but I was like, I'm not even going to answer that. I'm not going to give him attention. Like, bro, shut up, you bald egghead, monkey looking bitch, bro. <laughs> Friendly fire. <laughs> Friendly fire. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he looks like ape though, bro. <clears throat> Should I delete social media for so for self improvement? Well, no, because you can make money from social media. That's the thing. So I just say, don't be scrolling on, don't be scrolling all the time, watching nonsense. Just think about what you're watching. Obviously, it's great to have entertainers. I'm not going to sit here and act like I've never watched an entertainer growing up at all. But realistically, I watched the Nelk Boys, yeah, and that's because you told me about them, and that's because we wanted to be like the UK Inspiration, Nelk. Inspiration. That's it. That. I didn't actually watch, like, obviously their, their content was good in it, but I didn't watch their early days or anything like that. I literally watched them, and I was like, all right, what are these men on? How can we, like, How are they, well, they're dominating the USA market. What are we going to do to yeah, dominate the yeah. UK? And if you look back at our old YouTube videos, it was sort of Nelk style inspired editing. It was, yeah. No, we did it. We simply in, like uh, we told Ollie to yeah. like edit it like that Nelk. shit, yeah. And he done it. He done it even better. I can't lie. The edits was yeah, cold. simple as that. So we watched it to kind of learn and stuff. Like even just think about what what content you're watching. Like if you watch just idiots that just scream at the camera all day, don't provide any value. What are you doing with your life? You're just wasting hours of your time. Thoughts on Central C? Yeah, he's clear. He's doing really well for himself. Happy, bro. And do you know what? T talking about being happy for people and not being negative and all people that are negative, that you never do well. Do you remember when A1 and J1 started going viral? They got that banger tune and they, he went to your A1 school. Was in my, no, J1 was in my school. J1 bro. was in his school, yeah. I don't know if you remember know these A1 and J1 people. They, Myron would end you, bro. I swear to you, bro. Myron would end me, bro. Are you sick? <laughs> Bro, are you actually sick, mate? Myron would end me, bro. Come on now, let's not be ridiculous. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I remember him telling me, you said to me, oh, like, yeah, like, these guys from my school, bang a tune. I was like, we, we were both gassed. We were like, oh, that's I, sick. I, I, like, I just, thought, I just thinking out, of man. old times, yeah. Do you remember back in the day when it was snowing and I was on tickers and you was like, oh, I'm gonna quit and just focus on trading. Back when you was like trading, yeah. yeah. So boys, back you, in the day, there was a time where I just was gonna give it, pack it in. Back in the day, <laughs> boys, yeah. Back in the day, I actually used to trade and I actually used to make peas. Like, obviously leveraging a lot. I used to trade a bit of crypto. It wasn't forex. I was trading like KSM, Bitcoin, things like this. Back in the day, like, how old were we? Like 16. 17. 17. No, six, 17. Yeah. Like, I was on my laptop trading, and I remember I was gonna quit socials because I was making dough. Making it was it was small dough back then, but it was big. Fifty pound yeah. in a day, like. yeah, yeah, that was enough to like not work a nine to five. It's big piece, bro. But I had a signal group of people copying my shit. Thirty pound subscription a month. I had thirty members at one point. Thirty three members. I think I literally was doing a bag a month. Like back then, big dough. Carry on the J one story. Yeah, basically we saw him like up and coming. We saw him like doing really well, and we were both like fuck like. If they're it's blowing up, if they can do it, why can't we do it? Like, there's hope in it. Like, this guy was literally in our area and blew up. We weren't like, oh, fuck this guy's music shit. Fuck this. We were like, yeah, come on, man. Like, there's a chance. And that's the thing. If you have that type of mindset and you take inspiration off people and you're positive, you got half a chance. If you're just a negative twat all day long, commenting hate, you will be a failure. You Your vibration is going to be low. Like, energy is so important. For real. Like, you're, what you put out is what you get back. If you're putting out negative energy, all you're going to get is negative shit happening to you. If you're putting out positive, vice versa, same thing. You used to energy, sell the course for Energy can't pounds. be created or destroyed. You've got to shift it. <laughs> Who's copying your trades when you're 16 years old? Bro, I marketed myself, innit? It's marketing. I had 30, 33 people and I used to get... I used Because I used to do it on live. I used to do it on TikTok live. I maybe had 100, max 200 views. And like you could actually see me making dough in real time. So that's how I sold people. Because obviously even people aren't going to trust me when I'm a fucking kid. Like, that's it, I was just a gym head. But I was showing people live trading. Oh, look, I'm making dough, I'm getting in here, I'm getting in there. Before TikTok would ban it, now they would ban it. But, yeah, I used to do that and, and it made dough, simple as that. 
Do you think if you was still with your dad, if your mum was still with your dad living with him, would you be in the same position? Not at all. You wouldn't be as loose. That's not the at thing. all. You bro, would I'd just not be a fucking, different. I'd be a bot, bro. Yeah. Like, I'd literally just a, a fucking industry bot. Go uni, <laughs> do this, do that. Bro, you only live till, like, till you're like maybe 70, maybe 80, maybe 90. Do you remember before, before we even had clout, I already had a little bit back in your area. Yeah. And that was, that was quite a big clout back in, I remember I was getting that. Yeah, your cousin was fucking popping, innit? Yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing, she was hating and now she's nowhere to be seen. Yeah. And it just shows the energy yeah, you put you know out what? is what you get it's back. A great, it's a great story really, isn't it? So Ed's cousin was like famous in the area, isn't it? He used to do like, like YouTube. Like like you, like UK should we, should we drop top. it or not? They don't give them clout. Don't even, don't even talk about it, innit? It's just negative energy. Alright. Uh, and yeah, they used to hate on us. They used to laugh at me, bro. Yeah, fully. When they walked in and I was like... Do you remember when you went... Uh, do, you remember when you went uh, do you mind if I um, pay you 50 quid for a shout out? Oh yeah, I DM one of them because I was doing like fitness videos in my garden like during oh, lockdown. Oh no, no, do you know the worst bit, yeah? Was when we finally made the program. This was the break, yeah? Finally made the gym program, had zero fucking sales. Out of desperation, I text my cousin going, I, I know, um, I know we like... Oh, let me explain my bit first and then explain yours, it's a better story. Go on. Gives, it's like, Go cause on. You're, that's down the line. So when we was back in, the, in lockdown training, um, when we were like just in the gym in Ed, so Ed's dad bought us a home gym in lockdown. That's when we started like, all right, let's bang this social media shit. He did a vein check video, yeah, and it went viral on TikTok. And that's when we was like, all right, let's go on TikTok. Anyway, I was doing these little fitness videos in my garden, like home workouts, how to get muscle with like bags, with weights in them and all this stuff. Posting them out every single day consistently. I was gaining like 50 followers a day. I was proper grafting it, yeah. And I, I DM'd his cousin and was just like, I DM'd your cousin's partner in business, yeah, like the two, two, there's two of them, yeah. DM'd her, I was like, oh, can I give you 50 pounds for a shout out on your story, just shout out my shit, yeah. And my, my, bro, 50 pounds was bare dough to me, innit? And like, what did she say? She just didn't even, did she even reply? She just violated to you about it. Just, no, I think just screenshotted it. Screenshotted and it, it and sent it to her cousin, then told Ed, like, basically, like, what is this? Like, could have been polite, but anyway. But anyway, then, I was actually bare close, like, it was like family, like, I don't, I haven't seen her since, honestly. And do you know what it is, yeah? Do you know what it is? They, they were nowhere near, they were like 100k maybe on Instagram, yeah? And so someone I know, Ollie Eagle, yeah, I used to kind of, like, fam really close family friends, yeah? Mum's friends with the mum, uh, me, and, me and his older, his older sister Nancy, we used to get on a lot when we was younger, like, really close to the family. He messaged me two weeks, he messaged my mum two weeks ago, the mum did, yeah, and was like, all right, can you shout out our clothing brand? Bearing in mind, I have never done a fucking promo for no, nothing apart from my trading shit, yeah? And I shouted, his, shouted him out of my story, it was like, everyone go buy it out, and he sold his, his tracksuits out. And the reason I've done that is because we were fucking close back then, yeah, like, still, it's family friends now, innit? It's family friends, but, when I asked, when she was a lot smaller, like 100K followers on Gram, but I had fucking 900K and I shouted them out. Like, that's big business to shout out someone when you're getting 500K story views, like, it's big. She was like, just mugged it, yeah. Didn't shout me out, just violated. Then, when we were at uni, and we sold no fitness programs on the first day of dropping. Uh, basically, I dropped out a heartful message, yeah, and I just got, oh, good luck. That's it. No, wait, what did you say to him? Because we, was, we were like down saying, in the dumps. Like saying, we were like, oh, oh, we can't. Please, can you just promote the girls' fitness plans? It would help me out a lot. Yeah, because we'd um, sold none and we were at uni and we were really trying to sell we the We just needed to make 100 that. quid for our next re-up. Yeah. And just all I got was, I sent like a paragraph and I just got, looks good. Congrats. That's yeah. it. And it was just like, that was the point where I was just like, yeah. Uh, it can be your own family, bruv. And now look at them washed, bruv, probably trying to scrape fucking two bags a month, like, cool. Thing is, yeah, I still don't even hate on them, like, I, I wish them the best, for real. From, like, from the bottom of my heart, I've got no hatred towards them. I wouldn't actually care if they started doing their thing. Honestly, I, I wish them luck, because I actually don't hold grudges like that, but... Like, that's, that's to do with that energy. I wouldn't, wish them, I wouldn't wish them to become world famous. I don't care, I don't honestly, I don't care, yeah. But I don't, I don't hold no, like, grudges yeah all. yeah i just don't care anymore yeah. yeah it is what it is wait is your chat loading nah chat's fucked 
Should we start end the stream and start it again? Alright boys, we're gonna end the stream and start it again. <laughs> Imagine we still had that first podcast we made. We do. In the garage, we but do. we still have that. It's archived, bro. <laughs> it's archived on Man, the head we, channel. We should drop that. <laughs> do you remember? Meme it. I uh, know, but like, people actually knew about that. People now know. I know. That's the thing. That's why I can be mean. It can be mean. Because you could just tell I was sweating. Don't say it on here. No, no, it's funny, isn't it? Real funny. <laughs> had, to, had to retake that a couple times. I've got an interesting question for you, bro. What's that? Where do you see yourself in five years? Where do you think, like, where do you want to live? Where do you want to settle down? Where do you want to have kids? Not in five years, what, ten, like, where, where do you think you'd want to settle down and have kids? Well, in five years' time, I'd like, I'd like to have a couple places. Somewhere in the UK and somewhere in Dubai. UK? I'd like to get one in the UK just because of family and shit. Oh, yeah. But also one in Dubai. Just because it's like a safe haven. If anything, if anything ever goes wrong, I'm out here. You know? And it is nice to come out here. For real. It's like a safe haven and it's good investments out here as well. Like you could, the houses right now are cheap and they're going to go up in value in the next five years. 100%, bro. Can you elaborate on safe haven? I'm joking, um... I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm I need joking, to do. Bro. I do need to get like a not a membership. A I, membership uh, <laughs> to Dubai. I need I need a membership. What monthly What's membership or yearly? What's it called? I need a, a visa. Like, visa um, yeah. uh, what is it? Citizenship. <laughs> a membership. <laughs> Just go into the fucking like local authorities. Like, hey, can I get a fucking monthly membership, please? <laughs> do you remember Steve at Absolute? I still see him. Oh, yeah, this kid. Uh, he used to go in there yeah, every day and get a day pass to our gym because he couldn't be asked to sign up for a monthly year. It was like five pound a day or it was like no, it was 20 seven quid, quid a for day. a month. Seven quid a day. Seven quid a day or 20 pound for the month. And just can't just... It was an ego thing with Steve. <laughs> I just weren't going to get a membership, but to be fair, he loved it. Like, he used say to go I'll... in and tap every day. Say, say I went pound. in 25 times in a month. <laughs> That's like... Sometimes you try to sneak in though. That's 170. And it's a broke down gym as well. It's, it's, it's decent, but it's just it's a bit scatty in there. HS Neon is talking shit. Well, tell him to come to Trove and I choke him. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting so verbal with security. Yeah, trust. What did Ed's mum and dad think of him at the start, starting social media and not focusing on school? I was never that done at school. My, like, I was, my mum thought I was going to be a pro bowler. <laughs> <laughs> this again. <laughs> yeah, and she was just like, yeah, focus on the football. She loved it and she always knew I weren't built for a nine to five. That's why I started social media, TikTok. We had a vision, didn't we, since, since day in the garage saying, oh, this time in a couple years I'm going to be doing it and now social media is just, it's clear was on the OG snap group I'd as probably well. rather be doing right now what I'm doing than being playing for a shitty shitty team professional but getting paid a few couple couple bags a week 
I'd probably rather be doing what I'm doing. Just because football, you can't do what you want. You have training sessions, it's strict. It's not a nine to five, because it's enjoyable. If you love football, it's fucking unreal. But you can't drink, you can't really... Yeah, it's a big sacrifice. Especially when you move country, what kids or whatever. Like you're yeah, but say you ball like in a top club, say you're balling for like, Oh, it's different then. So you're balling for like Barca. And oh, you mate, ball, I was and, talking and about you, a championship team. And you ball for them for like five, week. six years, yeah. All the glory, everything that comes with it. If you want to fuck it off, just retire early. I don't know why ballers don't do that though, because like, they, love, they love the game, innit? Yeah, they love what they're doing. Yeah, but it? I was talking championship, mate. Bro, I'd rather be I'd rather be doing what I'm doing than be a Premiership footballer, yeah. mum. They all go bankrupt after because they have been used to earning that much money, so they don't know what to do. That's why they're all starting like YouTube accounts and Twitch and shit. Are they? Yeah, like Garnacho, Ben Foster, like, all these. They're like, doing like, social. Like they're, they're doing that, so just in case when it ends, they got something. <laughs> Hey Chess, have you had any paranormal experiences? I have. I've had some fuck ones. No joke, bro. I was in bed with, with my Fucking girl. Fucking ghost come down. Bro, bro, from the no, sky no, no, and no, told no ghost. No be ghost. A YouTuber one day. No ghost, bro. I was. It was. It was two a.m. No, like three a.m. in the morning. It's like time of the devil. And on the stairs, I hear bang, bang, bang. Like someone running up it fuds. No one was there. That was, Explain that. that was your dog. No, it mate. wasn't, bro. It was like 100 kilogram geezer. It sounded like it wasn't my dog. My dog was in bed. Did your mum hear it? No, she was asleep. Did your dad hear it? Everyone was asleep, bro. And at 3 a.m., yeah? Bang, bang, bang. You can't. Paranormal. And like, then you woke up. Spirit, no, I was awake. Spirits are real. <laughs> your body's a, like, you're a spirit in a. Ed's catted on that sheesh. <laughs> Trust. <laughs> no, bro, you know this, this, this guy, bro. If you give him something to puff, he's puffing it, bro. <laughs> Someone just clocked that, but man's like, oh, I've had about 200 pulls, I didn't even realise. <laughs> man smoked the whole shisha out. <laughs> Me and you used to bun so much zoo in it, like, yeah, like, un, un, like unnormal amounts, like grammeds. <laughs> like multiple grammeds a day. <laughs> yeah, that was heavy. In the shed after school, I'd come through. HS, with all due respect, why did you not appear on the Fresh and Fit pod? Because basically, they declined me going on. Like, Dan, they tried to get me on there when I was in Miami. They said, no, there's no mutual benefit for me to come on. Basically saying I'm a wash nobody. Then after I knocked that silly Canadian out, they asked me, actually, no, before I did that, when I was just like linking with Aiden, gaining more clout, then they were like, oh, we'd love to have you on. I was like, bro, fuck you, you fake fucks. I tried to come on a week ago, you said no. Hey, Chess, I had four and a half grand saved up. What do you think I should do? And don't just say your trading group, bro. I want genuine life advice. My trading group, bro. What else are you going to do with four and a half quid to make peas? Tell me something that's better. Putting it in a fucking ISA, no. Put it in a group where you can fucking trade your dough up. Get into crypto picks. We have fucking OFM in there. We have watch trading in the elite group. That's the 100 pound a month group. Watch trading, OFM, uh, sports betting, uh, crypto. We have everything in one group, bro. I'll show you. Fitness plans, they're the trades. The, the stream's off? No, no, the stream's on. It's just not All the trades, fitness plans, crypto, crypto, OnlyFans management. They can't see shit. Watch trading, drop shipping, funded passes. Fortnite. Bro, there's fucking everything in there, bruv. Sports betting, general chat, profit results. Bro, there's everything in one group, bruv. Do you think Diddy's gonna go pen? 
But I, honestly, I've not even looked into it. All I heard is that Diddy's a nonce and he's ran off. I, I don't even give it. I just joke about it. Like I just see someone put in the comment, fucking um, Ed Diddy earlier and just ran with it. I don't even know what fucking went on, apart from that he might he be a He bombed pedo, Justin like. Bieber at Apparently 15. he bombed gigs, bro. He bombed Meek Mill. Wait, 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 is that, is, no, I see that on tick, no, I see it on, I see a TikTok yeah, earlier saying that the guy who was saying that on, on YouTube, yeah, like exposing it, got killed. I don't know if that's true though, someone's trying to like, but like, did you, did any of you men see this chat? I see that nah, earlier. bro, you done Bieber at 15. Um, but Bieber was, Bieber was saying it. Bro, he wouldn't. He's, it's a sign, if you have trauma like that, you wouldn't want the world to know that you've been bummed. You bro, you know, bro, I don't know why a man go batty, bro. It's he's so got to see, I think weird. he will come out. Like, what, 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 what about being rich and doing whatever you can do makes you think, yeah, I want to put it in a geezer's bum, like? It's, I think it's a power. He's obviously gay, but it's a power thing for him. It's like that's he's, he's got all when. Bro, this is why just, all these rich people are nonces because they have so much power. No, they have so much money. It don't excite them. All they want is power, and they think, what's going to make me more fucked, more powerful? They want things they can't have. And they're sickos. Yeah, but bruv, there's limits. Like, say, 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 I got that rich here. Yeah, my but bruv, I'm talking about sickos. My power would be mate. like world control. Like, I'd want to be like the leader of behind, behind presidents, behind like manipulating this, doing this, doing that. Like building my own ecosystem, the, building my own like schools in Africa, bored, and like, educating people in only what I told them. So imagine a whole school. You educated everyone in the school, not bullshit. You actually taught them how to make dough and all this shit. Yeah. Yeah, but that that got him fucking trading from six years old. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the thing, they don't want that because they want everyone to be 9 to 5 broke. No, but what I'm saying NPCs. is, why does that make you want to fucking bang a kid or bang a geezer? Like, why wouldn't you just want to fucking bang Kim K? Bro, like, what is your obsession with Kim K? She's a sexy tart, bruv. You love I her BBL, mate. I don't, I don't, yeah. She, mate, she's a sexy tart, bruv. Absolute fucking Bro, her, sexy her tart. Bro, her BBL's washed now. Alright, oh, but she's 40 odd, mate. I'm talking about Prime or Prime Cheryl Cole, bruv. Mate, she was with Ashley Cole as well. Like, come on now. She got malaria. Or something. Malaria. Yeah, she got malaria. Oh, my Wi-Fi is bugging. <laughs> Kim K is ran through. Yeah, she's ran through. But I'd fucking add another number to that. Don't worry about that, bro. If I'd fucking, I'd absolutely. Yo. <laughs> I'd absolutely rinse that. Boys, but be honest in the chat, would you do that? Prime Susan Boyle, different gravy, yeah. Who's Diddy, by the way? Just look him up. He's a, is he a rapper? Yeah. He was, but he's more of a, like a manager. Yeah, manager slash producer, I think. What, producer of beats? What do you call it? At one point, he had like, Usher. When he, like, he had the big artists when they stood like, blowing up. He'd done Usher as a kid as well. Well, Giggs came out and said that it was like, Giggs came out and said something, you were like, that's all bullshit, this, this isn't a fake. Well, the whole story is bollocks. Yeah, 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 he responded to it, the day it happened, didn't it? It was like two weeks ago. What, saying he wasn't involved or saying Diddy ain't done no, that? Saying, listen, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm not involved in it. That's all he said, that was it. Hey, Chess, do you feel like Dante betrayed you? Not at all. Not at all. You know where I also want to get a place? Costa Rica. Jake Paul's got one there. Costa Rica looks unreal. The beaches here are shit. You can't even go. Is there an actual beach you can get in the water here? Beach you can get in the water. I mean, I'd say most beaches are in the water. Obviously, there are some that are like on rocks. No, but that you can actually get in. Like you can get in the sea. There are some beaches here that you can get in the sea. Yeah. I thought I was locking them off. I really don't. I really don't like the beaches, bro. That you can't get in the sea. It's long. You know the beaches where it's just like concrete. And no, no, and but stuff. they guard it off. That's what I'm saying. Where? 
Mate, you know, that when Neon tried to get in the water and he got he got locked. He didn't get locked, he went in the water. Yeah, I know, and then he was like, get out. No, nah, the security just wanted a tip. Oh. They're just finesse, man. Oh. It's the same with taxis out here right now, yeah? When you, when you uh, get in a taxi, a lot of them will say, oh, my card machine's not working, pay cash. All right, I'll give you cash, give me change. I ain't got change, mate. They're just trying to tax it. Respect the hustle, really. What? You've got to respect the hustle. Yeah, you just got to... Bro, I never let a taxi man finesse and they hate it. Like, it don't matter, like, they'll see me with a fucking RM on, yeah, and their taxi and think they can start finessing and I'll start fucking... I'll, I'll end up paying less than the taxi was. HS, can you explain the situation with Dante? What exactly happened? Because we thought it was a solid, loyal man. Bro, he can still be loyal. Like, I don't understand what you man think. You man think that someone like that Dante has to stay with me for the for fucking life because he worked with me for a bit. Like, realistically, business-wise, he had a fucking better offer and he took the better offer. How, like, simple as that. I don't hold anything against him, still talk to him. Simple as that. He had a good offer. I'm, I'm not out here streaming, doing 20 hours a day on kick and he's traveling around with me. If he'd done that when I was doing that in my active point, I would have gone, he wouldn't have done that to me. But I would have gone, oh yeah, like, that's a bit out of order. But, bro, like, we're not really doing too much. He's had a good offer. Good on him. Go and smash it. I don't know why you guys are like, making it a deal. It ain't a deal. At all. Hey, Chess, start up gym streams with Ed. Yeah, we should. I want to get Wham again. We'll do Have one tomorrow. Yeah. Have you stayed at the Atlantis Hotel in Dubai? Uh, nah. Cheryl Cole would get it. Bro, Cheryl Cole's a different, like, different level of rocket. Back in the day she was. I remember when she used to judge on uh, X Factor. All Britain's got talent, one of the two, I don't know. Brav. <laughs> Brav. I wonder what she looks like now. Probably a bit old now. I'm going to get back on the YouTube grind as well. I miss filming YouTube videos. I used to take um, film at school and I just had a passion for it ever since making yeah, movies. Yeah, you've definitely got to, like, you're, you're definitely like a massive entertainer. Like the YouTube vids, yeah, your YouTube vids are sick. They were hard, innit? Especially when it's just like... It's just annoying just when you keep getting locked. You just have the best bits of content, like, that's with YouTube, like, and you produce, like, very entertaining shit. Yeah, but that's the thing, that entertaining shit don't really get monetized. No, it don't, it don't, it don't. But you got to monetize through other ways, like, businesses, that's how you make money on YouTube. Unless you're a family channel PG content, then you're raining it in, but... <sighs> Excuse me, brother. Would we would be able to order a bit of food? Could I have a uh, tenderloin medium with chips, please? Double that up, bro. Triple it. You hungry? I'll just get. Can I get some Get some protein down, you, bro. Nah, bro. Have it if you want it, bro. Triple it. Triple, bro. Don't be having a mac and cheese, bro. That's wash. Bro, get three, three, three steaks, three steaks, no mac and cheese. Where do you live? In Dubai in an apartment block. Um, and then in November, we'll be moving to downtown. There's like an off-plan property that's coming up here um, called Bingatti Trillionaire. It's a nice gaff, very nice. Moving in there. And then I'll rent out the one that I'm in currently. What's the best one? Wagyu. Medium well? Uh, medium rare. Medium rare. 
Can I get the Wagyu 8 to 9 red eye? Yeah. This one. Thank you. Load me up, brother. Which temperature is it? Temperature. Medium. Medium rare. Medium rare. Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, sir. Sweet corn. I just want the tenderloin. What is it? Oh, actually, oh, this is the place that does the chicken fucking. Oh, do you know what? I just have them chicken. Them, you know them, them organic chicken strips. Chicken strips. Yeah, with chips. I'll just have that, mate. They're not spicy, bro. Can you take out the little bit spicy? Can we? Can we have no little bit spicy? You can't make it no little bit spicy. I'll have a little bit spicy then, Shan. No, I know, I'll have it, yeah. I'll have it how it comes. No steak, please. Just the chicken and the chips. Chicken soup. And just one chip, so the bare big chips. Okay, one chicken soup. Would you like to match the or something? Do you want to come with it? No, it's not coming. Don't worry. Maybe later. Would you think another upcoming city like Dubai is? Dubai. Other than Dubai? Dubai. Saudi. Maybe somewhere in Qatar. I don't there's, know. Got, there's got to be another city that's going to pop up soon. Bro, Dubai has not popped yet. Like, do you, I don't think you understand how they're expanding this everywhere. Like, they're, they're bare places here that's expanding. And realistically, Dubai is a little bit lenient in terms of you can drink, you can club, you can have that Western lifestyle. Whereas in Saudi, bro, it's a lock off. You, you get locked off there, bro. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. It's no, no, it's no joke over there. It's no joke over there. Like even well, a little bit of I've like, had dreams that I've got locked in Dubai. Bruv, Modine, yeah. Oh, I don't know if I should say this. Don't don't expose him. It's not even it's not even exposing. Just wanna think, is it nah, I'll leave it. But basically, yeah, like people he wouldn't last in Saudi the way he acts on stream, let me say oh, that. Oh no. Like all of that stuff. Like shouting in public and all that stuff. Done out. But can you, can you even great, have your ankles out in Saudi? Obviously a guy can, bro, but Saudi's... That's great. what I'm saying, as women? No idea, but Sa yeah, as, as a Western woman, yeah. But Saudi's, like, is sick. The way that that Turkey Al Sheik is putting on fucking boxing matches, he's putting on the bet, like... Because they, do you know, it's, the thing is with Saudi that makes them sick is they've got so much bread that they don't... Another one of them, please, bro. Thanks a lot. Same. Yeah, yeah, same, same. Can I have a little bit spicy? Can I have that a little bit spicy? No? But you can't put spice in that. Because, uh, I'm joking, bro. I'm joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, same one, bro. Same, same. Um, yeah, Saudi don't mind operating at a massive loss. So, like, they'll pay, like, AJ, like, 50 mil. It's not a loss to them because they got so much dough. Yeah, like, they just don't care to look. Like, they just want the clout of, like, look, we're richer than all of you guys and we'll pay way more than you guys can afford. We'll take all your fighters. Like, they've got Frank Warren working with Eddie Hearn. They don't work together, but because they're just being bought, bruv. Yeah, Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren like, bruv, they're all, they're, bruv, they're all, yeah. They're literally, like, this guy's turkey, bruv, is just dangling them, bruv. Like, yeah, you do fight here, fight here, and he's just sp like, spending bread. It's sick, though. They have, like, the all-star of, like, boxing events. It's hard. Yeah. I think it's proper like they don't like influence the fights though. Yeah, they don't rate it, but like I think it's I think it's uh I think it's proper sick. He must he must think yeah I'm the man. Like walking out knowing that these guys are here yeah just because I'm balling and I can pay for you to come here. Like they'd rather fight in America. It'd be a better atmosphere there. Well. But it's like yeah look come over here and you fight where I want you to fight. Frank Warren was holding that Saudi guy's hand. Yeah yeah no that's a sign of respect though I think. Yeah yeah over there's a sign of respect. I see that as well. I looked into it a bit because I was like he looked quite uncomfortable though. He looked through. <laughs> no it's because Frank's probably thinking ah. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, like there's there's crazy boxing fights going on, crazy, crazy.
You man should stream every day. Yeah, but it's long, bro. Like, it's fun. I'm having fun now because I don't do it a lot. But when you like, I feel like if you make it a job that you have to do it, don't become as fun. It's fun to like stream when you, when Depends like. Depends what you're doing when there's you're a stream. With. 100%, yeah. Yeah, Kamzat versus Worker. Kamzat's, I was talking to him literally yesterday. He's training at the, he trains at TK. Tam Khan's gym, the sickest one here. All right, we'll go boxing tomorrow. We'll do like a light spar, innit? Did you see me move? I yeah. still got that little bit of head movement, innit, Sham? Neon, though. He's, he's actually really improved. Okay. He's improved. He's, I he's didn't just, expect it. Like, I, I wasn't punching at all. Like, it's quite hard to dodge someone who's trying decent bangs. Like. No, no, I was watching him box. I didn't expect it. I thought he'd be way worse. Like, he's improving. I'm saying he's going to be the best in the world, though. <laughs> On his mum's. Oh, yeah, that's mad. When he said that, I was like, bro, like, you're swearing on your mother's life that you think that you could be the best. But... Neon X Canelo. Yeah. I'll be back, entertain a stream. Just gonna do a little fucking trading plug. Trading scam, 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 scam. Oh, I need to get a chat up. Oh, mate. Oh, I can't even be arsed with that, I needed to buy a sim. Is that not for UK TikTok, though? Yeah, you don't want that. I could only buy one sim per person, so you actually have to go there yourself. I didn't think it'd be so hard to get a sim out here. That well, was the a... thing is how, how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to have it ready at the airport to collect, but we didn't do that. Chat's broken, yeah, it's not even loading for me, boys. Chat is fucked. Fucking hell, I got shit brewing right now. You got what? A shit brewing. If I've had the worst diarrhea. I know that's what you just done in the toilet, innit? <laughs> We're going straight through me, bro. <laughs> I've uh, never actually had diarrhea like it. Lovely. Just where we're about to eat. But everyone in here love to hear that. <laughs> Never had diarrhea like. <laughs> what is it? Do you know them ones when it just splats no, it's out? It's just your water, ass? bro. Yeah, bro. Sometimes yeah, I've had such bad diarrhea. Yeah, <laughs> that when I do a shit, it like splats out and like goes on the in the side of the top seat. <laughs> Go on, keep telling me about <laughs> it. But I'm basically, I'm, ba I'm basically like just fucking shitting on myself, bro. It's coming out of that type of force. Do you know them ones when you have diarrhea, you got to shower straight after. You have about eight showers oh, a yeah, day. I was sat with him earlier. Yeah, no, nah, bro, bro, bro. <laughs> Let me say. No, that. <laughs> please. Nah, please. It's right, so now you joined it, bro. It's so. Joke. Nah, that ain't jokes. Yes, that, it is. Nah, bro, I ain't owning that. Bro, it's jokes. I ain't owning that. That didn't happen. <laughs> bro, it's nah, so nah, funny. Nah, that's getting clipped. Just know that I ain't. I ain't worth oh, it. Oh, bro. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you man would laugh. Honestly, you man would laugh. Yeah, uh, what the chat saying? Chat, do you want to let you? Can I tell you, man? This, put a W. Put, put, put a yes <laughs> no, in the chat if you want to hear this fuck story from this morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's jokes, bruv. I've done it before. I've done it hella times. Uh, what? Just, I've done it I before. I just sharted, No, 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 no. Uh, uh, no, no, no bro, I've done it before. I literally no, bro, shat bro, on no, a bird, bro. I just shat, I literally mate. shat on a bird in bed. Have you seen I, that? I had to, I had to go, I had to go bed, throw away my box, bro. I had done a shit and, it, and she woke up, boys. Have you seen that clip in my bed when I'd done a poo in bed with a girl and yeah. she woke up and it was like next to her bed? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> right, this morning, yeah. I just shot it, man. You're going to try and point it now. Bro, well, this morning I'm sat, yeah, we're just getting a sea bass catching up. We ain't seen each other for a couple months, yeah. And Ed just dashes up quick and goes toilet, yeah. Goes toilet for like 10 minutes. Comes back and goes, oh, yeah. Fucking had, fucking had bad diarrhea, but I just shot it. And she come out, she had to throw his, throw his pants in the toilet. Because <laughs> he shat himself. I put him in the bin, mate. It wasn't, it wasn't that bad, innit? It was just like, didn't look great. <laughs> Bro, it's happened to, to the best of us. I remember you, I was, the last time that happened to me, I was doing the 11 plus, yeah, mid exam. <laughs> Sharted, yeah, and that was fuck my whole exam. I couldn't even fucking, I couldn't focus after that. <laughs> <laughs> Get you at the worst time. <laughs> hey, yo. How do you stand the bath where you need a perm residency? I've got a perm residency. How long, how long does it take to get that? Three months? Mm, oh shit, these are my chickens. Uh, how long does it take to get a residency? Not, not too long, mate. Say so, like a month. Yeah, it's something I need to do. Matty, Joe, Trump, it was so funny the way he got up this morning and made me free. Who said that? Nah, Matt, someone said Matty is Joe's, and I, I said. How'd I get up this morning? What? What are you talking about, how I got up this Oh, what, from the table? Yeah. <laughs> What's the plan for summer? Well, I might be fighting in, in June 22nd, I might be. You gotta take it. It's not that, it's the tra training that I have to do. I swear on my mum's life, I'm 100% confident I'll bang it. Yeah, we'll take it then, because it's like it's the best fucking feeling in the world. Yeah, but it's just like the sacrifice now. Like, I'm kind of trying to do YouTube and shit right now. Yeah, you still get an hour, two hours training in. Nah, if I was going camp, I'm going full camp mode. Like, I was training for the fight in January, bro. I couldn't do fuck all. Do you remember I was in the UK? I wasn't even, like, I come linked you a couple times and I was just fucking tired. after them sessions, you can't do nothing. After that session in, in fucking Marbella, nine rounds. Fuck. <laughs> it was, that's when I knew I was fucking cooked, yeah. When I'd done three rounds of HS and I was, I was throwing up and I was a week out. I knew I was cooked, but I couldn't not take it after that. That's the last time I ever take a fight with no training. How did you get a perm residency? Uh, let me DM try on Instagram and I'll pattern it for you. Oh. Which UFC fight is your favourite fight? I don't watch anything, bro. I don't watch a TV. Only time my TV goes on is when I'm putting on a fucking song. And that's rare. I don't watch, like, the only thing I watch, maybe a bit of TikTok every day. I don't watch anyone's YouTube videos. I don't watch streams. It's long, bro. I've got things to do. Speak about when you went to Argentina when you were younger. I got sent there for a month because I got kicked out of school. My mum just basically was like, fuck off and go pattern yourself in a third world country. I was like, all right, cool. And then I was in there, yeah, 15 years old. And basically what it was, was it was just a bunch of reject kids that fucking their parents just thought that they, like, they were just cunts. There was older people, like I remember it was called like Jan, Jan Mario or Jan Lu Luigi or something like this. Two Italian brothers, yeah, they were naughty. They were like 19 and they were just like, in, and I was 15 and they were like, that's the first time I proper started bunning zoo and all this shit. And like, other shit as well. And I was young and I was in the fucking club in Argentina fingering a bird in the toilet. 
and I was out there basically and they wanted me to like build like little schools and stuff like that which I was doing but I ended up going on a mad one going out drinking bears and I was bare young and probably, do you know I was fucked I was, I was fucking underage and like the girls in the club knew I was underage I looked bare young but she didn't fucking mind in it I swear I had a ting in the toilet fucking rubbing up her fucking Oh yeah, hey, thank you. It's not your usual colour of steak, is it? Do now. Do now. He's coming out here tomorrow. Yeah, I know. What the fuck are you capping about building schools at 14? Right, bruv, I weren't constructing a fucking, I weren't constructing the Burj Khalifa, mate, when I was 14. I'm talking about helping pr projects. Like, it was a whole project. I can't remember what the company was, but it was a project to go out there and start helping, like, poor kids and that. Like, building shit, like, grafting and doing all this stuff in the day. But then in the night, we just ended up going out and oh. Let me reach up. Get up and run, bro. Ain't loading. Are you, are you on the app? Keep refreshing it, bro. What bar are you at? It's not a bar we're eating, it's called Pro. Going back to Miami, them streams were global. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Miami's potentially somewhere that I'd have a yard. Like, that's a sick place. Miami's, like, quite flashy, like, hard. Do you remember when, when we were going on a school trip there? You didn't go in there. I don't think I could afford it. Do you know what it was? They wouldn't, they wouldn't like get me my discount. You know, I had a discount to the school, like scholarship. They wouldn't give me my discount, and it's like uh, my mum couldn't afford it. But that was a mad trip. What did you do there? I wasn't mad. Well, good. Bear Street. No sneaking out and going to clubs. Who is that 14? Repressed trauma and won't realise till it's too late to live a real life. Repressed trauma, bro. Mate, we're out here in Dubai doing what the fuck we want when we want and you're sat here watching me, you can't Shut up. <laughs> You've got fucking trauma, mate. Oh, that steak ain't one even loud. Really? Yeah, the, that tenderloin's banging, yeah. I don't really rate that. Yeah, I told you, bro, it's no joke. This place ain't a joke. You shouldn't have got that. That's, the tenderloin's the best, bro. Is that chicken? No, nah, man. That steak looks way better, I'm gonna be real. Do you want to have a little piece? Mm, oh, I'm good, bro. Yeah. If you stream more, you'd be one of the biggest. Yeah, I know, but it's just like... But streaming, streaming's good. Like, just, I don't know, I want to do other things as well. Like, like Ed said, it depends what you're doing, innit? If I was out every day partying, streaming in Ibiza, yeah, it's sick, but is that the life I want to live? Not really. But only for a little bit. 
I think I'm gonna go stream in Thailand. I'm going to Thailand soon. Thailand's sick. Yeah, it's a different world out there. You've been banging the gym recently, you're definitely looking better shape. You think? Yeah, 100%. I've been doing a little bit. I haven't really done much in the last two weeks, but I was, I was looking decent that like, week. Yeah, week, looking good, week ago. I'm definitely going to bang it out here. Were you there in Thailand when when we got started on by a bare man in that like ping? Was it you then the ping pong thing? Yeah. No, do you, the when filming. We, it was the it was the boxing room. That one. Do you remember that though? There was like. Bro, it was a room, yeah, when they was doing Your like security did whip. fuck all. Yeah, a little pussy, bro. Yeah, yeah he, Kong. Just, he just hit, yeah, that was it. Fuck you, Kong, you little bitch. He got shook. Just dead security, innit? Like, the security had an IB for their own smoke. Yeah. Fuck. Is it coming straight out? Nah, bro, I'm just. I'm, I need a piss. Zerka is better. Bro, Zerka had one opportunity to have a career in his life. He would have had a bit of hype after me and actually maybe would have done well off it. But starting on someone and then getting thrown on your ass is a L and then after trying to fucking organise an MMA fight with me or boxing I think no I was boxing and then tell me he wants 50% was like bruv are you fucking mad do you know what I wouldn't have minded that storyline yeah of us having a fight before it happened on the street but when he took it too far was when he was going ah oh, tiki toki your mother's a whore like he's lucky he's, he's actually lucky yeah that he wasn't sorted out before any like Properly sorted out. He's very lucky. <laughs> he got the best outcome that could have been for him. Uh, few men saw that. Uh. <coughs> that was butters. Honestly, yeah, do you think I'm a fucking baller? Uh, yeah, yeah. After that, like, do you, do you think I'm a baller, boys? Yeah, but no stamina. <laughs> 
Why is the chat fucked? I've literally got no idea, bro. Why I ain't rolling this weird. Do you know who Archie King is? Archie King. The name seems familiar. Low like five people typing. Nah, bro, I think I think the chat's like a bit buggy, man. I have to keep refreshing it to see any chats. It's weird. Work rate. Yeah, my work rate that match was a bit dead, but I just my fitness ain't like it ain't good at all. Like I was actually gassed out. I need to get running and shit, like my fitness actually, my gas tank's not there, I'm gonna actually start running every morning 100% without foul. That fitness there was a bit of a joke. Doesn't stand me in good stead for a boxing match. If you could go back to 18 years old, what have you done different in life? Literally nothing. There's certain life choices that I would, that I would have swayed in hindsight, but then at the same time it's like, They've taught me lessons, so like every L I've took is a lesson, and now it's it's I'm I'm like I'm I'm learning as I'm growing and evolving, and you know, so I wouldn't really say that there's, do you know what I mean? Thoughts on KSI? Um, yeah, he's gone clear, bro. Gone fucking clear, mate. Ah oh, shit, you man are distracting me, bro. I gotta fucking do a telegram push, man. You man are distracting me from my scamming. What, kicking generals down? I don't get how a multi million quid fucking business can't even do a fucking live chat, bro. Weird. Boom, boom, boom. Have any clips gone viral on TikTok of that fucking... Um, Ed, Ed's uh, Waldy, I think it was on like 20k. Right? Oh. <laughs> Let me see it. Where, can you send it? Or just show me what account it's on. Mm. HS Investor Toki. Nice, HS Boxer Toki. No, oh, mate, Ed's goal was so mad. <laughs> like, that it was, bro, wow. Like, actually, wow. Like, fucking hell, bro. He's, he's got tech. Oh, there's bear clips going viral a bit. Cold, cold goal, bro. Boom, 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 boom. Thank you, bro. Fucking hell, I just got fucking sent, yeah. Oh, I'm not, I don't know if I can even say this, I'll show it to you. <coughs> Look at that price for a sponsor. What, they think you're gonna pay that? Maybe someone I know, bro. Fucking not me, mate. Fucking hell. It's mad, isn't it? It's hard to make your money back with something like that. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy, bro. That's a mad, to be fair, that's the biggest boxing fight this year, bro. 
Do you think that's Mas- bigger than Ngannou and yeah. Josh? Yeah, Jake Paul Tyson's the biggest, bro. Do you think it's going to be an actual fight? Do you think Mike's going to go for a knockout? Bro, I think Tyson will fucking rock his world, mate. Yeah. Like, yeah, even at his real. age, bro, like, I think he will rock his world, mate. Yeah, I think he'll knock him out. A fight's a fight. In the moment, it's different. Bro, but I just think, yeah, I think that Jake has to win, like... In the contract. Mike's old, bro, realistically, like, if he loses, it ain't an L. It is an L. Nah. He's it old, is. bro. How yeah, old yeah, is Mike even, Tyson, even like, if you're... It's a he's 60 G. Still, bro. Bro, he's, he's, he's 60, bro. Most people can't even fucking walk at 60, mate. He was on, he was on crutches a year ago. Him nah, to get... nah. He was just, he was fucking mentally. Like, it's an L. Bro, do you know, if, if they're asking for that, for sponsors, how much do you think that they're making? Yeah, obviously, it's big money for... How like, much do you think Tyson's getting Ty, paid? I think Mike's getting about 100. Nah, I think about 40. Oh, he's 57. Bro, a 57-year-old man. Is that being held in Saudi? No, it's on Netflix, bro. Probably be in America. How's it work? You need to buy. Like, That's probably gonna be. W- w- is that pay per view bigger than McGregor McGregor Mayweather? Uh, the the run up and stuff was so legendary. Actually, nah, McGregor Mayweather's way bigger, bro. Way bigger. Because that's yeah, they that probably got like fight. fifty each. Nah, nah, Mayweather made three hundred from that. Oh, Fucking hell. Economy Connor got a hundred. Yeah, that's crazy. Bro, Mayweather got 300. He's, he's, bro, why does Mayweather get hate? I think he's the one of the biggest G's going. You've seen with Diddy, mate. Was he? Oh, fucking hell, that means he got done up the ass, bro. There's no way he got done up the ass. Never know. No way, bro. I think he, he's beat 50 Cent, like, really early on in his career. Like, that's what sort of started, like, between him and 50. And what, Floyd? Yeah. And 50 Cent had beef. Yeah. About what? Fucking, there's so many clips about it. Bruv, do you know what, yeah? Bro, Floyd's the biggest G. Like, I, he gets so much hate as well. Everyone, like, do you know what? This is another thing with people with dough, bruv. People just broke his hating. I see on his Instagram there, um, maybe this was six months ago, I was looking at his Instagram, just having a stalk through, like, looking at, like, the lifestyle. And I see comments, oh, this guy must be so depressed. He's got no friends. He's so soulless. Like, blah, blah. Bro, shut the fuck up, bro. The geezer is fucking printing. Like, and he's a legend in the game. It's not like he's just like won the lottery. Like he's actually battled his way and to on your fucking glory. Things, like, he's, he's a fucking. He's done G. promo for like five racks just because he loves money. Yeah. He takes he takes any promo. Obviously reasonable, but five racks seems fucking piss all. But he still takes it. But he's the money man, isn't it? He? He's a fucking. He's a money man. Like he, that is. I think he's sick. I don't know how a man can hate on it at all. Especially fighters, like they're literally fighting to make their money. How can you hate on him? Say he's like an ego, he's got like ego and all that shit. Like, serious. Boxing. I'd have fucking ego if I smack 50 and I'll <laughs> beat everyone up. <laughs> Obviously, you're gonna have ego. You're the best at your weight in the world. It's not even ego, bruv. I don't think he has an ego. He's just confident. He's just he's a realist. He's obviously got an ego. No, but it's hard not to have an ego when you... No, but an ego, like, I don't think he's arrogant. Mil. I don't think he's arrogant. I think he's fucking... Yeah, yeah. No, he's, he's obviously egotistical. He thinks he's the best. That's ego. T- like, if you are the best, think you're the best. It's an ego, isn't it? Nah, bruv, do you know what I think? Yeah, I think that... I think that... If he um, thinks he's better than everyone else with confidence, then it's an ego. <laughs> Oh no, we're not oh, we're not cool ordering call. anything. We're, we're not ordering anything. You're gonna carry on the stream. Uh, what are you doing? Well, I'm trying to cut. What are you gonna go bad? Just cut it then. Yeah. Ah boys. Let's cut in the taxi. I'm fucking slow. I ain't even tired, bro. You tired? I'm exhausted. I, I had food poisoning this morning. So. I'm still... I ain't worried, I ain't feeling the best, bro. I'm just going to have a shower. 
But as in, I'm still down to stream if you guys are. Um, it's about what? A drag in the motor would be nice. I've got someone coming out with a driving class tomorrow. Oh, bro. Bro. I'm going to get an M4. That's going to be sick on stream. <laughs> What? Right, no, I just need to, I just, wait, wait, what? wait a sec, let me just see, the mic's out of battery, yeah they are, yeah we'll cut it in lap 10 when we're walking back to the thing, um, Right, no one clocked. Alright, they're all fucking dumb as fuck. What? Nothing. Say it. Say no, it. bro, I ain't saying it. I'm not saying what? it because it's stupid, mate. How's that stupid? I'll tell you off stream. I ain't gonna crash, bro. That's what I have to tell him. Oh, what? Have I just incriminated myself? Oh, bro, shut up, mate. You're Are you done? Alright, well, now I can't get it, can I? Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Mate, you're, are, you, are you on one? Why are you actually saying that? Are you fucking like, are you having a joke? <laughs> but like, why do you keep it going? Like, are you like, okay? Yeah, but like, the thing is, he's actually going to get over there. Oh, mate. Mate. I've got a life. Fan of Barcelona. Oh, I'm not a fan of Barcelona, man. I'm fucking Pedro's fucking son, man. Which country? I'm Pedro's son. Oh. I'm nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, bro. Yeah, I agree. Nice to meet you, bro. Yeah, Pedro left in 2018. <laughs> yeah, so he can drive me. I've got someone coming out with a license tomorrow so they can drive me about. Obviously, bro. You can clip it if you want, man. I said nothing bad. I can post it up. I've got an Italian license. Do you remember that one? Yeah, Pedro had an Italiano one. Go on, say it. No, I don't want to free promo them. Oh, yeah, I met one of them in, uh, in Fire Farm. He was like, yeah. Uh, Let's get the fucking license off my ass. Oh, oh, <laughs> Is that a piece of fucking? I was just like, oh fucking no, mate. What next? He's like, yeah, mate. They're fucking thirty. They're not. They're thirty. Can I get the bill, please, on the card machine? <laughs> Oh, you know, my dad's been training that four times a week. Since I told him. Well, I actually want to run that. Yeah, I want to run that. I want you to fight Gav on it. <laughs> Smoking. Get put in a pack. But yeah, look. Like that's He's looking decent shape. Isn't it? He's got good shoulders. It's hard, mate. Just let me know how much I've transferred. I'll enter a manual one, mate. Yeah, sure. I will give you uh, your jokes actually. Uh, yeah, sure. Wait, let me just uh, Ed entertain the stream for one minute. I just gotta do a fucking. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got to do a AD, yeah? Alright, you want me to entertain you, man? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a perfect angle as well. <laughs> see you soon, man. I hope, I hope to see you really soon. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>
Monte Kanaya just for a sec. Oh, I can't. I can't. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to be left with that. No, you ain't, bro. Just put it, drop it, mate. Right. Let me get a last puff of this sheesh. Alright boys, if you don't know we're going to be streaming tomorrow on Market at Matthews, we're going to go to the gum range, we're going to be driving, so we booked the gum range, we need to do that tonight, um, we're going to be maybe whipping about, a little bit of whipping, but zoo maybe, the zoo, the private one, the private one where you can fucking yeah, we'll touch, definitely go zoo, we'll run a fat stream tomorrow, we go again, what time you reckon you want to start it? Because it's better if they know what time you're roughly going to start. It's like they're three hours behind, ain't they? So I reckon if you started here around five, six, or maybe earlier, it's up to you. Yeah, probably five o'clock we'll put the gum range and then the zoo. We have to plan it out tonight and make yeah. sure it's actually planned. We can't really be doing no charity walks in Dubai. <laughs> it's, it's too expensive. <laughs> too expensive to walk around it. I'm joking. <laughs> Nice. Just a breathe round here. It's fucking, it's a nice place. Nah, 100. But I feel like Thailand's more my vibe. Me like, too. This... Unless I had a sick car out here, run it all, I was ragging it. I think I'd yeah. enjoy it way I, more. I can't like, if you're a Muslim, yeah, this place would be like the perfect place for you. Like, like, as in for, for a Muslim. Like, just, it's focused around religion. Like, you see, most of the shops think, are closed in the day. Is more within yourself. Yeah. Like, it's good to be out here, but there's also quite a lot. There is some degeneracy. Yeah. But um, I think the perfect place to be Muslim is anywhere, or like Christian or. Nah, he. But yeah, it's annoying. I can't even log the chat. See what you man are saying. But I'm fucking knackered. That's why I'm just trying to cut off stream, get in bed. We go again tomorrow. We're gonna wake up, go to the gym. I might even, wait, we should film a YouTube video at the gym. Get a bit of YouTube content. Gonna yeah. get back on the YouTube grind. Oh, that banger today, though. Know? You know how many times I've watched that clip. Who, who saw that banger? Has everyone been on the stream the whole time? Let me see if I can load this chat. Who's been on the stream since the fucking start? Drop sign in the chat. Like Thailand for the zoos. Do you know what? Coming out of Dubai, I'm, I'm gonna have a little break. I'm gonna have a detox, a few weeks. Maybe in Thailand, I might have a little puff. It's all about moderation, though. That's what it's about. But this cunt behind the camera, David, he loves a fucking zoo. Yeah, but I never force it down your throat. Yeah, but when you're smoking, I say no. Nah, you're not smoking. Then you go, oh please, please. I don't say please. Yeah, mate. you do, mate. I don't. <laughs> I don't say all please. Right, don't all right. it. <laughs> But the stories of the IG girls getting thrown out to the bar true. Well, yeah, quite a lot of them, I would say. Where there's money, there's fuckeries. Go LA, yeah, 100%. We'll be doing that on stream. I mean, I, I've been streaming consistent recently. My right, boys, someone drop my kick in the chat and um, everyone follow it up. How many hours streaming we've done? Like six? Up the close to six. That's probably a solid straight. Like six hours what you need to aim for every day to grow your shit. I feel like that's what you gotta do to take it to the top of the streaming game. It's work but it pays off. I don't mind streaming, it's all about where you are. Like I wouldn't to be fair, I'm gonna enjoy streaming in the UK when I got the motor. We'll go on a little tour before we go to Thailand. My kick is Ed Matthews. Let me drop it in the chat. Oh, look, I'm, I'm signed in right now. I'll just drop a comment, boys. Did you get that video asked for? You never got back to me. Come Melbourne, 100% want to come Australia. I'm doing a lot of travelling this year, a lot of streaming. Um, oh, yeah, come on, Marie. 
He's still in the fucking stream. That's my fucking my guy, bro. Fuck yeah, no. Ree's the reason. Ree is genuinely the reason why we've been so consistent on kick. Because I haven't got a mad kick deal yet, but when we do get that mad kick deal, <coughs> the Ree is the guy I gotta thank for that. Because oh, he's he's donated fuck time. Ed, when you're hitting up this summer, Ed, where you're hitting up this summer, we'll go everywhere, boys. Ed, top things was wild. It was fucked. Let me not, let me get it up again to show you, man. To have that on camera, like, I was, I was gassed. Let's get a replay on that. Hang on, let me just put... Can't really see it, it's the lighting outside. Alright, body him, cutting. Right foot, left top, fucking bins, mate. Don't get better than that in a five a side. Give me two minutes, bro. Alright, All right, mate, let me see, is that going viral? I see bears with bear shares on. Look at the shares nah, on. Nah, do you know what? Bro, like, I didn't even see this in real life. When I saw the clip, I was actually like, bro. Did you not expect it to be that good? Let me see that. Do you, was it on a UK clip top? Yeah. RJ UK. RJ UK. RJ UK clip top. Fucking unbelievable. Well, it's, you know, it's not actually normal. <laughs> <laughs> I swear yeah, it's, like, it's actually like, we're chatting look, shit look, at body, look at the way you body, bro. Look at the way you body him, man. You just fucking oh. body him, bro. Yo, I've watched it over 100 times. Snap, but what were you thinking when you took that strike? Were you actually fit? Like, did you manifest I just, top I just pulled top left. Did you manifest? I'm, I just put it top left, mate. But did you manifest it? Bro? I manifested it before the fucking game, obviously. I won't manifest it now and then. What, what a comment. <laughs> shin pads out of the sock, mate. Right? <laughs> Where did you put your shin pads on? Yeah, because I had the ankle shit on. I couldn't be able to take my socks off. <laughs> I've got the fuck shin pads, the ankle protectors. Uh, that, was a, that was a mad Old man saying bro's that decent, bro, after watching that. Bro should be a professional. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was no joke. Obviously you can get the haters. Keeper should have saved that easily. Alright, mate. Alright, fucking big Tony Rockets. <laughs> with a fucking rocket emoji. Oh, Are there any other clips from the football? There's got to be. Let's have a little look. Back. Type in that like, D block thing in there. Now, to be fair, you had some cold moments in that play. What would you say the coldest moment was? When you body you just, like you, three you're man. You're just holding like the ball up. Like, you're good at holding it up. You're just like, I'm saying pass. But just, like, People don't pass. even want to try and take the ball of you as well. They try once and after that they don't actually try after. <laughs> hey, Jess and Ed think they're messy. <laughs> hey boys, if you're on this stream, you should be clipping everything because I've got clippers making 3 4k a month. It's easy though, and if you're gonna sit on the whole stream, you might as well make money out of it. You know? I'll swear from like the from the from the creative. Creative. If you post a minute video and it gets a million views, it's about seven bills. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to my scream on a fucking screen. Listen, my voice broke. <laughs> Man cummed himself. I was like, what? <laughs> well, compare that, yeah, to the banger and last game of the season. No, that was better. You think? Well, to be fair, the other, one was, similar, in, no, the, similar goals. Well, the other one was in an, an, on an 11 a side game, so it's probably harder. Both top left. The other one was way further out as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, there definitely needs to be a five-a-side team that we make. It will fucking blow up. Yeah. YouTube series, five-a-side. That's the next But I need week. to get running every day. Yeah, I need to be on that as well. Oh, look at this edit, look. Incredible. Yeah, body there. Absolutely incredible. The fucking confidence a little oh. for halfway. <laughs> Like, it's not <laughs> any I didn't. Do not I bet people that were like, oh, these cunts turning up and they're actually impressed here. <laughs> like, because we just won three games back to back in a row. Like, when we were turning up and we weren't even involved in the tournament and we're like, nah, but put us in, put us in that RSM2. They probably twice. thought we'd be shit. And then we just fucking 4 0, 3 0. Like, banging man, man. It, honestly, if we, if we had, had breaks semi, between if we the had games. we had that semi-final as well and we took it serious. Bro, if we had a break, we'd break between the games, yeah. If we had breaks between the games, we would have smoked them. Right. So. They were trying to set us up. We had about 30 minutes game time in a row. Yeah, it was ridiculous. They were 10 minutes out of hitting the other hour. Huh? Wait, is the chat working? Go and meet me on a terror the cunt. <laughs> you ain't even met him yet, have you? No. Is that on your with your bucket list? I can't fucking wait. That's why come to buy me, don't give a shit about me and me, you're gonna come see me on <laughs> Nah, it's fucking good to see you. My forehead is so sore. Is yours still? Yeah, mine's fucked. I'm limping. I want to play football again tomorrow, though. We should do another five-a-side game, because that was fun. We can organise it with fans. Yeah, 100%. You go on one team, I'll go on the other. Yeah. And we'll, pick a, we'll pick a team each. Yeah. That's a banging idea. And we yeah. put money on the line. Yeah. As long as one of our teams wins. There's money on the line if one of our two teams doesn't nah, win. Nah, we'll do, we'll do it just us, in it? No tournament. Oh, just me versus yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Alright, captains get all of the dough. Right, I'm captain of mine, are you captain of yours? Well, obviously, mate. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give some round Donny a fucking... Oh, you're just going to charity anyway. No, do you know what? I swear to God, if we'd have won that tonight, I think it would have been a good thing to give it to charity. Charity's corrupt, brother. I know, yeah, but like, no, 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 but do something. Like, give it to like, go, we could have, we could have made loads of content. We could have gone. Um, we could have given a Raptor a work card. Yeah, a work card. Like, yeah. How much wages yeah. out here? How much are they getting? Well, paid? I gave this worker yeah the other day two workers with separate times. I gave the one who was polite, geezer from Pakistan. I gave him 150 pound, and he like, like he can't. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Like genuinely, like it was mad. How much are they on a day here? Like 10 or? 200 dollars a month. Fuck off. Mate, they're, yeah. all, they're all immigrants, isn't it? Like, they're all from Indonesia. But it's better than they get back home. Yeah. Yeah, don't go on, man. That's the thing. A lot of these drivers, yeah, that they stay in the back five years, won't go back and just provide. And just see if send money it's back. Sad, it's a sad, lonely life, but you've got to respect it. What's a sad, lonely life? Just being a cabbie, not seeing your family for years. Oh, 100%. Just LB was nice, wasn't he? Didn't yeah. talk to him too much. But it was yeah. nice. Definitely. Like, not really Seemed egotistical. Humble, like, humble. Yeah, yeah. 100. He's a nice guy, bro. Definitely. You gonna get any more tabs? Um, nah. Do you know what? Sometimes I think, ah, oh, should I have got a sleeve? But like, I don't, I, no, I don't think it. When anyone asks me about it, I think it. It's fuck off thing on my leg. 
Yeah. Man just got 13 random yeah. like, gothic literature. <laughs> yeah, do you know it's because I was fucking a goth at the time. No, do you know what? He was, he was going for a phase. <laughs> he was going mate. for a midlife I crisis. I <laughs> at 17. He just got gothic literature. <laughs> it wasn't even that. It was just out of nowhere, just impulsive. A ghost haunted him in the middle of the night. Uh, got gothic literature came up the stairs. <laughs> yeah, the ghosts had come up the stairs. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I didn't even, I wasn't that as spiritual as I was back, back then. Like, actually, no, I've been spiritual since 13. I was, I imagine, I was actually... 13. <laughs> 13. I, I was doing YouTube from, like, 13. I got to school when I was in year 8 doing YouTube, like. It was a big move, bold move doing YouTube back in school. When everyone would hate on, like, you're doing social media, innit? And if you ever tried to do something that weren't trading, like, all the city boys, you get fucking hate. City boys. City boys are not up right now. <laughs> I'll tell you some funny shit off stream. <laughs> Drop it on the stream. Uh, nah, nah. <laughs> I bet it's about. I bet it's about. Oh, exactly. Not even gassing it. I'm not even gonna gas him, bro. <laughs> oh, God, he mentioned me. <laughs> I've never actually done a Ouija board. Oh yeah, do you know my mum done one of them? And like obviously my mum ain't gonna like time ago with her cousin and the Ouija board, yeah. So my cousin's mum had died a few months ago, a few months before then. They did a Ouija board together after they got drunk, yeah. And my mum ain't gonna bullshit me, that's why I know that it's fucked, like it's actually fucked. She was so you hold the thing and it like moves your hand around to the things. Yeah. And I don't know if you asked the Ouija board a question. I don't can't remember what my mum said, but anyway, the Ouija board spelled out D R D R U N K, which is Doctor Drunk, and the doctor was actually found to be drunk when he was doing the operation on my cousin's mum that went into hospital, and that's why she died. You know, I've got a story as my well. My mum was like, "Don't that's do them, bro." Imagine my, my scale uncle, is. yeah. He he's one. Do you know you get those um, people who tell you shit and they know about your. They just, they have spirits who talk to them and communicate with them. I don't know what they're called yet. They're called, like, someone tell me what they're called. But anyway, this, this guy, he put a zoo on his best mate's grave who died. Yeah, didn't tell anyone, gave him a zoo. And the, the guy, the spirit, yeah, told this guy, oh, he said, thanks for giving me that zoo, by the way, on my birthday. And he didn't tell a soul about it. What? Yeah, some man are different, they can chat to spirits and shit. Yeah, that's the thing, like, that shit is crazy. Like, that, that proper does make me think, like, what the fuck? No, spirits are real. <laughs> Bro, like I said, someone was banging up my stairs, it was fucked. I was fully shook, because you can't see them, you can't fight them, there's nothing you can do other than pray to God. <sighs> But no, this industry is fucked, like, when you get to a certain level, it's hard to not get, like, people are going to try to get you, you know? Like, the level we're at right now, no, but if we were to take it to the next level, it gets a bit sticky in the industry, especially in, like, like Hollywood, like, it's fucked, isn't it? Like, if you have such an influence, they try to control you. Yeah, it's fucked. Do you want to get to that level? Bro, I'm not really, I don't actually care about clout. I just care about money. Yeah, but with that level comes a lot of money. Nah, like you can do other things like without being that clout. Yeah, yeah but, like, so, no, but say, say you say you 10x your clout. Yeah, obviously it's going you're going to get 100%, 100%, 100 more than 10x it, yeah, for sure. But uh, would I like to be that clouted? Yeah, but I wouldn't twist. Yeah, you wouldn't twist, but wouldn't sometimes twist. you get caught lacking. But that's when you need heavy security. Tate ain't twisted, has he? No. But he's definitely been a bit quiet. What, like not as popping? No, just not as loose as what he says. He's still active on Twitter, just not just really. Twitter, isn't he? Just he Twitter. can't even be active on Gram. Well, he can be active on Rumble, though. He does a couple Bro, there. Bro, you know it's so mad how he blew up that quick. It's yeah. Fucked. 
Yeah, that was that was he absolutely he fucking bent the internet over yeah. and took it. He started like the podcast method where well, you he go stole on. the internet. Yeah. <laughs> You right. gotta write it in. Obviously, yeah, yeah you like, man it. stole the net. Like, yeah. You want to mark your life. You remember every time. What did you think of Tenerife? I think it was a fucking shit hole. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I did not, I didn't really rate Tenerife, it was just scatty. Uh, it's decent content. I don't rate them fucking scatty holidays unless you're streaming though, it's good. Yeah, you gotta stream them. You can't, how, how can you go there on an actual motive team? God. It's fucking, the weather weren't even good either. The weather's good here, it's alright, but it's like pissing it out. Let's see how many hours we've got. How many hours did we do before we ended this stream? Oh, you can check. It was like 3 hours 45. Uh, three and a half, three, four, five, five and a half. Bro, 10 hour streams are a lot. That's why you have to sort of be sitting down at some point. 10 hour stream. Uh, yeah, but if you play COD. Who does 10 hours? People that play COD in Fortnite. Loads, bro. Not Loads. even just that. Like, I are, like, Ice Poseidon and stuff like that. Yeah, 24 like, 7. 24 hour stream. It's a serious graft. You can't really switch off. And in like in a nine to five, you'll have breaks. <coughs> but with streaming, it's no breaks now, unless you can just your boys with you, you go for a piss. But we have breaks. Yeah, I've we had just a chill, break. bro. Yeah. Yeah. Feels like we're having a break now, to be fair. Yeah. But if you're on your own stream, you can't really break like that. Go no, for a piss. I need one as well. Oh wait, yeah. Oh. Oh. Right, so tomorrow we should do football again, yeah. Me and him can spar. Uh, Bevo. Shooting range, yeah, link Bevo. We should troll Bevo and get him to choose something that'll what? Yeah, yeah, like, like that sort of Yeah. Bro, why is this chat still not loading? This kit, look look at like Aiden's one, it's not loading. Watching you from Libya, G, oh, that's mad. That's actually mad, that's a long way away, bro, to be watching. No, it's quite I didn't even know you had bar. internet in Libya, bro. Yeah. The flag is just green. <laughs> Where's the best place to stay in Dubai for less than 5k a month for something nice? Loads of places for less than 5k a month. I'd say around the 4 to 5k range. Maybe like a one bed in the address. It's nice. Uh, there's, you've got a, an absolute abundance of places that you can stay at for 5 quid a month. Trust me. If I'm prescribed, can I bring Adderall into the bar? I'd assume so. I don't know. <coughs> I'm looking kind of wham, boys. Because i got this tight top on, bro. I might have to actually wear this a little bit, you know. This Barca top's fucking fitting me nice. Did you win the tournament? Nah. We could have, if we actually did it properly, had breaks, etc. Right, I'm gonna go for a toilet, then let's go a car and then you wanna do it. 
Hey, he just went, oh, went what? He went, oh, it's just my ass off. It's <laughs> fucking burning, boys. It's been through wars fucking since the last two weeks. Let me load the chat up. Oh, why is the Wi Fi fucking so sparky and so shit? You think with all these beautiful buildings you've had some decent Wi Fi? Maybe it's the outside. That's one thing that's annoying in Dubai as well, though. You have to VPN to call people. It's alright, though. I've had bigger problems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the chat ain't even loading, man. Mm. Hey, boys, it's been a dub stream or what? I'm trying to cut out, I can't lie. Uh... It's not the Wi-Fi kick chat's fucked. What is everyone else's chat fucked? Yeah, Aiden Ross, I went on to his is the exact same. Well, it's not loading. Yeah. Kick has these problems all the time. I remember Aiden was streaming it, just crashed. And Aiden was pissed. It's fucking annoying when you can't read the chat. Your goal blowing up on TikTok. Only reason, that's the thing, you can you can blow up on TikTok, but if you're not making money, what's the point? There's no point having clout and being broke. That's probably the worst thing. Oh, for fuck's sake. I can't even load the, the fucking chat. <coughs> it's still a new platform, they still got to work some stuff out. Hey, do you man think Kick's gonna be a big, as big as Twitch ever? Depends who they get. Because like, they tried to get KSI at one point, he didn't want to. If they managed to get... Oh, this chat is fucking me off. Mm -hmm. To be fair, the, the hotel we're staying at is nice, the beds are like... Nice. So, the, the only thing I wished, I wished I would have got one with that jacuzzi thing. That would have been banging, but apart from that... We only got that one for three days, we can still get it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. How long am I in Dubai for? I'm, I'm here till the 10th, and then I've got my driving test on the 12th. So yeah, we're here for another five days. Should we cut it off? No, I'll cut it off with the dog again. So. Oh, let's have a fucking few more calls on this, man. Uh, 
I add, could you hold the stream for um, one sec? Oh, I'll, yeah. get I'll see. My body like yeah, dead to me. Finish it. My body like yeah. Go out and sing. Hey, Rob, wrap your first song with Clark. I can't remember the lyrics. Why not a top 40? To oh, never had it. Didn't yeah, that hit top 40, charts. bruv? Charts, that was on radio. Hey, right, go on, wrap it. No, wrap you your bars. Go on, go on. Go on, wrap your bit. Go on. Oh, oh, do you not remember your own bit to your own song, bro? Set, bro. Right, go on, it's spit it, spit it. it. Spit the mood go on. My name's Edward, I'm not fucking stepping. I'm in IP through the Spanish weapons. If you wanna fuck, I'm a gold press it. I don't take L and stay progressing. I got dough, babe, I got cash for you. I'm an egg girl, I'm a nyash word. If you wanna suck it, I'ma give it up. I like up, but I won't bash for it. If you hold up in a heat bus and a bad day in a mini skirt, I was badly. Yeah, what's your honest opinions on that bit? <laughs> I'll give it a miss, bruv. You give it a miss? <laughs> oh, we your bit? Yeah, do you think I'll come in alright? I think you're coming in like fucking Peter Andre, mate, with it. Is he a rapper? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't even know if he's a rapper, bruv. You're coming in like fucking, who's a rapper, mate? You're coming in like Bieber with it, mate. Who? Bieber. <laughs> Not quite, mate. Central C takes notes from you, bruv. When he saw that, I, he was shaking, bruv. No, no when you man announced that song, he was like, he didn't Mark, drop that week. Market, he didn't, he didn't, bruv, he didn't <laughs> drop that week. He was like, bruv, I'm trying to go top one here, bruv. When he see, and I hold up in a miniskirt, it was Friday. <laughs> We were Luke Des just hey, going like this, bro. Got off we were the like this. How what? Come Scav got kicked off the tune. Uh, he didn't get kicked off the tune. No. No, he's at the end of it. He's saying, listen to the end of it. Oh. <laughs> Probably better off, mate. Yeah, he's, I heard a little bit of his part. Oh, you should scrap him, bro. Oh, imagine I showed the voice notes. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Come on, man. Come on, man. I love winding that kind That's of right, bro. Sorry, right. yeah, it's cool, it's cool. I love winding up. He's an angry pack, yeah. <laughs> uh, I was with him when you were sending. I was like, bro, like, you, you, you were just, yeah, like you were just chatting like cunts. <laughs> what was he saying? Um. Mate, he was just doing his, his voice notes are funny yeah, in his accent. Should I play one that's nah, not Nah, nah, no, nah, one nah, 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 don't. Nah. Nah, nah. you got to listen to it first, yeah, but I don't. Oh, but it's a full on practicing, though. What? It's a full on practicing. <laughs> Oh, mate, boy, as my groin is absolutely fucking throbbing, mate. What shopping mall is like this, though? Absolute, absolute trust on this shopping mall, bruv. I, I don't know if this is weird, yeah, but I actually, I enjoy filming. Let me play like, this. What? Wait. Listen, we all talking to you, desperate little begging little bastard, mate, yeah? You know what I mean? Putting shit on fucking TikTok. This is fucking shit on fucking TikTok, right? That, you stupid little cunt. <laughs> Play again. Begging little bastard, mate, yeah? You know what I mean? Putting shit on fucking TikTok. This is fucking shit on fucking TikTok, right? That you stupid little cunt. What do you think you're fucking at, mate? Like, who the fuck are you? 
Bring up your eight hundred thousand views if you know you scruffy little cunt. <laughs> scruffy <laughs> slave, I live now. Scruffy little cunt. He's <laughs> funny, he's funny. Wait, no, 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 we've got to do the rest of this. Wait. I'll get one point for your ends, mate. Alright, right, mate. I'll pull your ears off. I'll fucking, I'll have it on. The mall is closed right now, but the video is not allowed. Oh, sorry, ma'am. We'll turn it off, sorry. Uh, just, just listen to him, he wants to come to you. Okay. You are doing good. Hello. Philip from Dubai Mall Security. First yeah. of all, I'm sorry for stopping you. No worries, sir. Okay. The mall is already closed, so yeah, video, we're whatever out. you are recording is sensitive. That's why we ask uh, for to That's no worries, mate. Video. Can you have a look on the video, please? 100%. We're just video and walking back. For what purpose is it? Um, Just for like our own like, vlog of Dubai. He's okay. my friend. He's just on a little holiday here, so we just thought we'd take a little Crime video of us in Dubai. See the video is more than one hour. Huh? Yeah, yeah, we've just been eating and stuff and chilling around. Okay, can I have a look on the video? Yeah, 100%, mate. I'll show you, look. Especially in the fashion area. If All right, okay, yeah, he'll show you the video. All right, okay, yeah. Uh, let me get it up. Just watch the, uh, the how clip. Do I, how do I play back? Right, let me stop it up. <laughs> 